Hey, Spencer here from leadingworshipwell.com. I wanted to give you a quick update on the advanced worship guitar tutorials. I've got exciting news in one sense in that I just released last week, that was my 100th advanced guitar tutorial. 100 guitar tutorials on this channel now. So I'm gonna link down below a link to the playlist for all of the tutorials. If you haven't checked out them, which you probably haven't seen all of them, there's a hundred of them, check those out. A hundred of pretty much the most popular worship songs. When I do these advanced guitar tutorials, I usually look at like the top charts, whether that's from Praise Charts or from CCLI, and try to pick those most popular songs because I want these to be as much of a benefit to as many people as possible. So that's why I do it that way. And so this was my 100th advanced guitar tutorial. Very exciting. With that, I'm going to take a little break for a little while because I'm a little tired from doing these every single week. I assume, I imagine that they will start back up again in the future. I don't have a firm date for when they will start back up in the future, but I know I took a break a couple months ago from doing this whenever I was at like 60 guitar tutorials or something and I just longed to get back to making them because they're so fun to do for me. So I will probably be back with these advanced guitar tutorials, but I wanted to address something else kind of going along with how I pick the songs to do for advanced guitar tutorials. All the time I get comments on my tutorials about how, hey, can you teach this song? Can you arrange this song? And they're like specific requests for songs and there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't normally take requests because usually they're like random songs that only one or two people want to learn. And like I said, I want to benefit the most amount of people possible. That being said, though, I want you to learn advanced arrangements of those songs because I think that that's really fun and it keeps things exciting. And I think it helps lead your church a little bit better when you create these uh, interesting arrangements. And so what I want to point you to is not to a specific tutorial for those songs, I want to point you to my guitar course that I put together a while ago now called The Beginner's Guide to Advanced Guitar Chords. In that course, I teach you how to arrange a song. I basically teach you the process of what I've been doing for the past 100 tutorials on this channel, and I just want to teach you that process so that you honestly you never have to watch another tutorial of mine again. You could just do it yourself. In that course, The Beginner's Guide to Advanced Guitar Chords, I show you the complete process from the beginning to the end. I show you a little bit of theory, nothing intimidating, just what you need to know. And I'm talking about music theory, but I'm also talking about guitar theory where I teach you the thought process behind why I choose certain chords for different parts of the song, how to arrange a song so it has dynamics as you go throughout. And so I teach you how to create advanced guitar chords and implement them into any song ever written. And at the end of that course, I even take you through a little case study of the song Amazing Grace, just because it's a popular song that everybody knows. And I teach you how to take it from a beginner, simple arrangement that pretty much everybody plays all the time with just normal, boring chords. I teach you how to take it from that all the way to an advanced arrangement, just like you would see on this YouTube channel. So all of that to say, if you have a specific song request or you just want to improve your guitar playing, because I honestly think that this is the way to improve your guitar playing is to, I know that this has benefited my guitar playing tremendously. And even though I'm playing these worship songs, Oftentimes people think like these worship songs are boring, right? They're the same four chords over and over again. But if you learn how to play them the way that I've learned how to play them and have taught you how to play them, then they're no longer boring, right? There's like a million different things that you can do all throughout the song to keep it interesting for you. But I, like I said, it's not just about having fun playing these songs, but it's about leading our congregations well whenever we lead them in worship. And I think one of the ways that we can do that is pursuing excellence by creating excellent song arrangements to keep their ears engaged so that they can stay engaged 
with God. It's just and not that that's the method that we engage God through through good music, but it removes one barrier of that guy or that girl just standing up on stage playing a normal G and C chord for 16 measures because there's an instrumental in the song, but there's no lead guitar player to play the an interesting hook to catch your ear. I can teach you, just like I've done all throughout these 100 guitar tutorials, how to create interesting arrangements. So check that out in the description below, the beginner's guide to advanced guitar chords. If you're ready to take the next step, that's the next step to leveling up your guitar playing. Hey, like I said, I'll be back, I'm sure, with more advanced guitar tutorials. I'm just taking a little break because, honestly, I want to focus a little bit more on the other worship-leading side of things, and I've got some big plans for that. So if you're into that, stay tuned. I've got some big things coming up planned. I just need a little more time to focus on them. So other than that, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for following along for 100 advanced worship guitar tutorials. And until I see you in the next video... Keep leading worship well.